Hello friends, in last part, we have seen the circuit design of battery charger with auto cutoff. Now in this part, we will study the simulation of the same circuit. So here, the circuit diagram is even. This 14 volt indicates the DC source which is used to charge the battery. We can change its voltage. This 12 volt indicates it is the battery to be charged. Then there is transistor which will act as a switch which will be doing switching so that there will be a charging of battery or it will be stopped depending on the switching. Then for the indication purpose there is LED. If LED is on it indicates that transistor is on and battery is charging. If LED is off if transistor is off then the battery will not be charging. Then this is op-amp, which is an open loop configuration. It will act as a comparator. It is inverting comparator. Here, with the help of the Zener diode and 22 kilo ohm series resistor, the Zener diode maintains the constant voltage of 3.3 volt across it, which is given as a reference voltage to this comparator. Then input voltage to this comparator is applied to the inverting terminal and it is nothing but the scaled down version of the DC supply and it is achieved through a voltage divider. A variable register that is potentiometer is used to adjust the cutoff value of the battery charging at a particular DC supply voltage. The capacitor is connected in parallel with this input so that any noise or AC fluctuations or transients will be grounded. Now let us study the actual simulation of the circuit in multi -C. You can open any web browser and on that web browser you can type multi online circuit simulator. You will get the first link, multi sim live online circuit simulator. Click it on. So, here there is sign up option. If you are not having account on this multi sim live circuit simulator, you can create an account. As I am already having my account on multi sim, so that is I am clicking on login. And with the help of the register email address, you can log into this multi -sync. So here. My account on multi scene live circuit simulator is open. Now click on create circuit. Then on left hand side, you are having the different components. So click on sources as we want. DC source to charge the battery. So that is why I am clicking on DC source. Right now, the voltage of this DC source is 5 volt. I can is adjust to any required value. I am keeping it on 15 volt. Then the battery to be charged can be represented with the help of again the DC source. You can rotate that symbol as this battery to be charged is of 12 volt. I am setting this voltage to 12 volt. Now for switching purpose, I am requiring a transistor and it is NPN transistor. So that is why I am selecting an NPN transistor. Then I'll do the connection. Positive terminal of the DC source is connected to the positive terminal of the battery to be charged. 
the negative terminal of the battery is connected to the collector of transistor and the emitter of transistor is connected to the negative terminal of the source. Then to this circuit, I have to give the ground which will act as a reference. So that is why I am selecting the ground and I am connecting ground. The emitter terminal which is connected with the negative terminal of source, it is treated as a ground. So this is the main circuit, main charging path. Now the control circuit. In control circuit will require to op-amp. If you click on op-amp, you will find the three terminal op-amp and five terminal op-amp. In multi-sim, five terminal op-amp means we have to give the plus VCC and minus V with the help of separate DC source. And in three terminal op-amp, you need not to give the plus VCC and minus V to that op-amp. It will, it is having inbuilt supply in that simulation only. For simplicity purpose, I am selecting three terminal op-amp. And this three terminal op-amp, its output will be connected to the base of this transistor. For indication purpose, we are using the LED. This LED is connected in series with the base of the transistor. To control the flow of current through this LED and to avoid its damage, we need to collect a resistor in series with this LED. So I am connecting the resistor in series with this LED. Then connect the output of this op-amp to this resistor, resistor to the LED and LED to the base of the transistor. Now here, this op-amp, it requires the reference signal and that reference signal which is fixed value is provided with the help of Zener diode. When Zener diode is reverse bias, it acts as a voltage regulator. So here I am selecting a Zener diode and I am adjusting its Zener voltage to 3.3 volt. Now to reverse bias this Zener diode, I have to connect it to the higher potential terminal of the supply of this DC supply. And I am connecting the cathode of the Zener diode to higher potential terminal with the help of this register. The Zener diode, which is in reverse bias mode, it will now act as voltage regulator and it will maintain the constant voltage of 3.3 volt across it. The same voltage across Zener diode is given as a reference voltage to the non-inverting terminal of this op-amp as a comparator. Now, we have to give the input to this op-amp. Op-amp input is applied, is to be applied to the inverting terminal. And it is actually the scale down version of the voltage at which batteries actually charge. So for that, I am using here a voltage divider so first register of 22 kilo ohm. Then I have to select a variable register that is potentiometer of 10 kilo ohm. So this is 10 kilo ohm variable register. Then I'm connecting these two registers in series. Then the variable terminal voltage, it is applied to the inverting terminal of the op-amp. To avoid the noise, input noise, HC fluctuation, transients uh, to be reaching to this op-amp inverting input terminal, we need to connect a capacitor. And here you can connect the capacitor.
one more thing uh, this register which is connected in this series with Zina diode we have calculated its value and it is near about 22 kilo ohm so that is why I am selecting this value to 22 kilo ohm now to observe the charging of the battery I am connecting a current meter in series with this battery if the current meter is showing some current it indicates that battery charging and if current meter is not showing the current it indicates that battery is fully charged and auto cut off has done now let us simulate this circuit and test it so i am clicking on run simulation first of all i have to adjust the cutoff voltage to 14 volt so that is why i will adjust this dc supply voltage to 14 volt then i will detect the position of this variable register at that position there will be the switching of the transistor so at one position at one side the led and the transistor are on on condition and on another side of that position they are in off condition so i'll click on this change in the value of this variable register and here i am moving it so you can see here at one particular position means at near about yeah you can see here at near about 26.5 percent at this position the led is on and below that led is off so this is the threshold position cutoff position of this variable register so i have done the setting so that the cutoff will happen at 14 volt now if i increase the voltage greater than 14 volt that is say 14.1 or 14.2 then the led and hence the transistor should be in off condition and the battery should not charge which will be indicated by the near about zero current on this current meter now let us adjust the voltage which is greater than 14 volt so i am adjusting it to 14.2 volt you can see here as soon as i increase the voltage then the threshold voltage cutoff voltage what is happening led is off it indicates that transistor is off and you can confirm it on this current meter on current meter you can see that the current is in pico ampere which is near about zero it indicates that now current is going through this battery and battery is not charging at though you are increasing the voltage above 14 volt it will not work because cutoff has happened already and if the charging voltage is somewhat less than 14 volt or less than 14 volt then there will be the charging of battery now what i have done i adjusted this voltage supply voltage to 13.8 volt and let us test the circuit so here you can see that at below cutoff value which is 14 volt i adjusted the supply voltage to 13.8 volt the LED is on, transistor is on, and you can see the charging current. It is in ampere now, 1.03. It indicates that battery charging. Though the voltage on that battery is less, even less than that, say 13 volt, it is indicating that battery charging, transistor is on, and the current is flowing. So it ensure it ensures that the circuit is working properly. Now, what we can do with the help of uh, this simulation tool we can verify the range over which we can use this circuit for auto cutoff for that if i want to cut off say the same uh, the circuit at say 15 volt or any other volt say 20 volt what i can do i can adjust the supply voltage i'll stop the simulation then i i'll adjust the supply voltage to say for an example 20 volt then at 20 volt i'll detect the position of this variable register at and at 
which there will be a switching will occur. So you can see here. I, I need to run the simulation first. Here you can see. At near about 47-5% value of this 10 kilo ohm register, there is switching is occurring. You can see here, right? At near about 18.5% of this variable register, the switching is occurring. So this is the setting for now, cutoff voltage of 20 volt. Now if I increase the charging voltage above that, uh, LED will be off, transistor will be off and the battery will not charge and if the voltage, supply voltage is less than that, the battery charging will be going on there. So this ensures that the circuit is working and in next part of this video, we'll see the actual practical implementation of this circuit in our laboratory. Thank you for watching this video.